you know, old people have to lie. You know what I'm saying? And kids, kids are great at that. You know, kids will tell you the truth as long as it's in their best interest, right? Because a kid, you know, you catch a kid going into the cookie jar, okay? And you're like hands in the jar. So you're standing there and you're giving them a little bit of, what are you doing? I was getting you a cookie. <laughs> I don't want a cookie. Okay, can I have it then? <laughs> you don't need a cookie. But, 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 kids are great about stuff like that. You know, I mean, they're, they're, as long as it's in their own best interest. Now, the other, the other end of telling the truth, especially with women, I know, here's the thing I don't understand. I, I did a very nice young lady, very good looking young lady, as far as I'm concerned. No man in his white mind would ever admit that they know that woman. We all think they're beautiful which is kind of a real misnomer if you ask me. <laughs> That's another one of those truth things, you know? Because you try to look at people, and I tell all my friends, I say, look, man, if you want, if you ask me a question, you be ready for the answer. Don't, don't stand there and give me any shit because you didn't like my answer. You know, you walk up to me, hey, Bob, hey, look at this shirt. That looks like shit. You know, and they get mad at you for telling them the truth. You know, maybe you look like a Christmas tree on a runaway streak. What do you mean, what's the, you know, I said, what do you mean mad at me because you wear an ugly shirt? Women, my lady will walk up to me. This is God's honest truth. This happens at least once a week, sometimes three, four times a week. She'll get dressed, and she's out there in the audience, and I can't see her, and I know she's making terrible faces at me right now. But I'm telling the truth, and if those of you who know her, look at her, watch her hang her head. She will walk up to me, and we're going somewhere. We're going to dinner this week. We went to dinner Friday night, and she's getting dressed up. And she walks up to me, and she stands there, very, just, just like I bet you women will do, and do that little... How do I look? You look good, baby. Are you sure? Now, what is it that you expect me to say next? What is the next thing coming from my life? What do you mean, am I sure? Because you know good and damn well if I stand there and go, well, I'm fucked. You know that and I know that, and I'm not about to back up at this stage of the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Because I'm like, well, I have to go, got to go change. You know, I don't understand. I don't understand why, you know, when you say, are you sure? Yes, honey, I'm sure. So I, I mentioned it to her one night. I said, look, why would you ask me that? She said, well, I want to be sure that you're sure. <laughs> and you know, this is the truth. This is where the truth will get you. You walk up and a lady walks up and says, I've had, I had a lady come to me one time and she said, you know, you and I have been out together quite a few times and you've never tried anything with me. Is there something wrong with me? And I said, no. Which was a lie. Because she was ugly. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, man. I, you know, some of us, I don't know what I am. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't know if I'm ugly, I'm good looking. I really don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm running my own TV show here. I'm the producer, the director, the star. If you don't like my movie, get the hell out and go find another theater. That's all I got to tell you about that one. You know what I'm saying? But some of us, we know some of us just aren't really up to snuff. You know, some of you people walking around out here, especially you ladies walking around with these shorts, and you got 44 hits and 16 thighs. Now, I'm telling you, it, you, you got that way. I don't know how you got that way. I'm sorry you got that way. I really want to know what funhouse mirror you're looking in before you walk out the door when you decide, hey, I really look good. You need to find somebody who's going to tell you the truth. You see, you, and when you find them, appreciate them. You know, that's necessary. Uh, the, one, the one thing that, uh, that I really appreciate on this planet today is technology. Now, technology will not... How many computer people? By applause. Where are we at? Anybody out here with computers? Y'all use computers? Listen, look at all these people. That's outstanding, man. I'm a computer freak myself. Uh, I own my own computer business, as a matter of fact. I draw pretty pictures for a living. And people pay me money. It's the greatest thing you ever saw in your life. <laughs> you talk, hey, you talk about a scam. There you go, you know. But computers are great. They will not lie to you. A computer will not lie, it cannot lie. And yet, inevitably, every human being will get mad at the, com at the computer. The computer tells you the truth, you get pissed at it. I have known people who shoot monitors. I know guys who sit at the keyboard with a 357 Magnum, daring that computer to fuck with them. Go ahead, I'll blow your ass up. I'll go buy another one, I don't need you. <laughs> 
you, you lock up on me one more time, you know, I'm going to give you a 38 caliber enema right through the monitor, Jack. Your ass is all done. You don't get mad at a machine. It's a stupid machine. What are you doing? You know? I went out car hunting last week. This is, guy, this is true. I went out car hunting, and I'm looking at cars, new technology, that will tell you the truth, and you're going to love this. I got into this car, and there's one of these cars that has a computer with a little voice, right? And the, and the salesman's sitting over here, and we're going off on a test drive. And the salesman says, even the radio is computer controlled with this little voice. He said, what kind of music do you like to hear? I said, well, country. And this little voice came up and said, would that be Wellen Jennings or Willie Nelson? All right, Willie Nelson. And the damn thing started playing a Willie Nelson song. Now, is that great? It's straight up. Right? It's the truth. You just, you know, you put it in there and it puts it back out. So I just thought, you know, well, let's try to rock. So I said, uh, you know, I looked at the other said, you know, rock and roll. And this little voice came back and said, well, would that be Aerosmith or Van Halen? Shit, you little Aerosmith. So on the way back from the test drive, this asshole cuts me off coming down an off-ramp. And I yelled out, you fucking idiot! And this little voice came back and said, would that be Russian in battle or fucking panic? You see, it's the truth. And you can't get away from the truth. Hey, you guys have been a lot of fun. I got one thing I'd like to remind you before I leave you. I got one thing I'd like to say, and I'd really like y'all to take this to heart. I'd like you to remember that peace on this planet is not a dream, people. It's a job. And it's one we all need to take a little more seriously. My name is Bob Crawford. I had a lot of fun. Good night, Birmingham.